Hello everyone. In this video of algebraic identities, we shall take up some application-based questions where we need to identify which identity to use and then solve accordingly. So let's start with the first question. It is given evaluate the following by using suitable identity. So first part is 399 whole square, which further can be written as 400 minus 1 whole square. Now clearly it is our identity 2 which is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now over here a is equal to 400, b is equal to 1. So we shall substitute these values of a and b in identity 2 and we shall write 400 whole square minus 2 into 400 into 1 plus 1 whole square which is equal to now 400 whole square is 160,000 minus 2 into 400 is 800 then plus 1 which is equal to 1,59,201. Now let's move to second part. It is given 62 whole square which is equal to 60 plus 2 whole square. Now clearly it is identity 1 which is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now over here a is equal to 60 and b is equal to 2. So accordingly we will substitute the values of a and b in identity 1 and we shall get 60 whole square plus 2 into 60 into 2 plus 2 whole square which is equal to 3844. So this is our final answer. Now let's move to third part. It is given 103 into 97. Now 103 can be written as 100 plus 3 and 97 can be written as 100 minus 3. So clearly it is identity 3 which is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now over here a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 3. So we shall substitute the values of a and b in identity 3 and we shall get 100 whole square minus 3 whole square which is equal to 10,000 minus 9 which is equal to 9,991. So this is our final answer. Now let's move to fourth part. It is given 10.1 whole square. Now 10.1 can be written as 10 plus 0 0.1 whole square. Now clearly it is identity 1 which is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now over here a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 0 0.1. So we shall substitute these values of a and b in our identity 1 and we shall get 10 whole square plus 2 into 10 into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 whole square. Now further we will write 10 square is 100, 2 into 10 into 0 0.1 is 2 plus 0 0.1 whole square is 0 0.01 which is equal to 102.01. So this is our final answer. Now let's move to fifth part. It is given 85 square minus 75 square. Now clearly it is our identity 3. A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B. Now over here A is equal to 85 and B is equal to 75. So we shall substitute these values of A and B in identity 3 and we shall get 85 plus 75 into 85 minus 75 which is equal to 160 into 10 which is equal to 1600. So 1600 is our final answer. Now let's move to sixth part. It is given 291 into 309. Now 291 can be written as 300 minus 9 and 309 can be written as 300 plus 9. Now clearly it is identity 3 where these two are the factors a plus b into a minus b 
which is equal to the product will be a square minus b square. So over here a is equal to 300 and b is equal to 9. We shall substitute these values in our identity 3 and we shall get 300 whole square minus 9 whole square. Now 300 whole square is 90,000 and 9 square is 81. So 90,000 minus 81 we shall get 89,919 as our final answer. Now let us take up second question. It is given evaluate x if 36x is equal to 78 square minus 42 square. Now if you observe the right hand side it is identity 3 where a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now over here a is equal to 78 and b is equal to 42. Now we shall substitute these values of a and b in our identity 3 and we shall write 36x is equal to 78 plus 42 into 78 minus 42. So this is our a plus b and a minus b. Further we shall write 36x is equal to 120 into 36. Now x is equal to 120 into 36 divided by 36. Further 36 and 36 will get cancelled and we shall get x is equal to 120. So this is our final answer. Now we shall take up second part. It is given 6.2x is equal to 8.1 into 8.1 minus 1.9 into 1.9. Now further we will write 6.2x is equal to 8.1 whole square minus 1.9 whole square because a number multiplied by itself is a square of that number. Now if you observe our right hand side it is our identity 3. That is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Over here a is equal to 8.1 and b is equal to 1.9. So we shall substitute these values of a and b in our identity 3 and we shall write further as 6.2x is equal to 8.1 plus 1.9 in bracket into 8.1 minus 1.9 in another bracket. That means these are the two factors a plus b and a minus b. Now further we will write 6.2x is equal to 8.1 plus 1.9 will be 10 into 8.1 minus 1.9 is 6.2. So further we will write x is equal to 10 into 6.2 divided by 6.2 now 6.2 and 6.2 shall get cancelled and we are left with x is equal to 10. So this is our final answer. So in this video we have solved different type of questions using different identities. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.